Welcome to Whoa. Saturday Morning Cartoons. What? What, what's up? Well, I just I just got a glimpse of Laura's mug there. Is that a mug that I oh. saw? <laughs> yep. Oh. Yeah, All right. I've seen show's over, Nick folks. Spots, <laughs> yeah. Nick spots, Is this going like to get that. flagged? Yeah. Um, got oh. flagged by Nick. There's no um. off switch. He has no off switch. It's just... It just, I wasn't expecting to see a butt. Uh, in the front of the camera, ceramic or no, you know. I've hey, just the episode's surprised. just starting. You have no idea where this is going to go. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Welcome to Saturday Morning Cartoons, where we show the highlights and lowlights from the corporate experiment and mind control of American children through weekly animated series that took place from the 60s to the 90s. You're here with Nick and Joe of the Found Footage Festival. How are you, fellas? I'm good. Yeah. Well. Well, I'll charge it up from that butt mug. Oh, boy. <laughs> Nick, Nick's red hot right now. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I'm George, a barnacle on the vast entertainment barge that is VCR Party Live. And you know today's guest from the Big Bad B-Movie Show and now host of her new show right here on the Found Footage Festival channel, Lenora's Midnight Rental. Please yes. welcome horror expert and genre champion, Laura Wimbles. How are you, Laura? Yes. Great. All right. Well, oh wow! <laughs> Take a wow. sip from cup. Do, do you call it a butt cup? Is it a, a butt a butt mug? A butt it's cup? A, what is it? It could be a butt cup. I I usually say butt mug, but um, I wish it was vintage. It's not. This is easily, uh, at least it was five years ago. Easily bought at Urban Outfitters. So you two, oh really? But it comes in three different skin tones, and I was excited because they had medium, which is me. So. <laughs> uh, I, uh, Honestly, at first I thought that was the bottom of truck nuts that had been turned into a cup. But um, that, well, there's still time. We could we right. could market that. It, it, it looks like you could get that at a souvenir shop in Key West. That's, a, probably, that's I'm sure that's where it started, and then Urban Outfitters bastardized it. And stole exactly, it. they ruined everything, <laughs> but they did great with that. All right, Laura, can you tell us a little bit about Lenora's Midnight Rental? Lenora's Midnight Rental. If you haven't seen it, check it out on the Found Footage Fest channel. It is a late night style horror hosted type of show set in a video store. And it's all VHS tapes. They're all my own personal VHS tapes that I've had over the years. And I, it is the kind of show where I'm not just bashing movies. I'm talking about movies that are lesser known, lesser loved, and ones that I actually kind of like, even though they might not get a lot of love traditionally. So we have a lot of vintage commercials, a lot of movie clips, and we even have two puppets, uh, Emmy and Carl, right yeah. behind me. One is a VHS tape, one is an M for the M in Midnight Rental, and a lot of hijinks ensue. So yeah. if we saw episode one, it was great. Everybody loved it. Um, yeah. Now to celebrate Laura's new show, we're going to watch an episode of a horror-inspired cartoon from 1991, Swamp Thing, based on the DC comic book character. Uh, usually up top, we we look at cool mugs. I don't know if it's or cereals. I don't know if anything can top that. Is it, <laughs> oh yeah. Do we bother? I mean, uh, uh, I mean, I guess I could show you my Kellogg's uh, Cosmic Brownie Little Debbies. Uh, <gasps> you I got mean, those? Th oh. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, yeah, I got them. I actually, I ordered them a long time ago, and they they arrived recently. It took probably like three months for these fuckers to get here. <laughs> oh my god, how um, are they? Tell me everything. But, I, I mean, it's uh, I don't know. They're huge chunks. They're bigger chunks than what I was uh hoping for. They're a little um, it's like eating gravel, but <laughs> man, the sh the sugar count is through the roof, as you would probably expect. And then they have a fun back here. So maybe during Swamp Thing, if things get a little slow, maybe I'll just start playing this uh, on the back here. Um, what would you guys guess is the niacin count for one bowl? How much of your daily uh, value uh, of niacin do you get in one bowl? 20%. Laura? I'm going to go with a tight uh, 12. Okay. Nick? 200. <laughs> <laughs> 
Laura, you're the winner. 10%. Yes. 10% <laughs> of the niacin. And that's enough niacin, I think, for one day, isn't it? Plenty. Yeah. Plenty. I got this. I saw this in the store. Strawberry milkshake frosted flakes. These are Ooh. vegan. So even though it's milkshake, there's no milk in it. Hmm. And uh, as soon as I crack this open, it smells like when you you would open a tin of strawberry quick and just the fumes would come out of just that artificial strawberry. So, um, and they're just pink tinted frosted flakes. So extremely sugary. Um, how, do you, how do you feel about strawberry flavored stuff? Kind of gross. I I'm think. not into like, it. Yeah, I can't get gross. into it. I don't even think it's close to strawberries. You know, like I don't even think that they match. I think a lot of grape flavored things match the grape. But mm. I don't think the strawberries match the strawberries. I am. Um, yeah. Oh, sorry. I, I tried a uh, the Wendy's strawberry frosty that just came out about okay. two months ago. Thumbs down. Not mm. good. Yeah. No, Very strawberry good. flavored. Yeah, it doesn't work. Isn't there like strawberry soda too? Isn't, isn't that a thing? Like, yeah, yeah. there's like, uh, I think Welch's makes a strawberry soda. Um, but yeah. yeah, sorry to hear that frosty. <laughs> yeah. sounds, sounds like it would be good, but. I guess okay. not. Strawberries uh -huh. are plants, which is the perfect segue. Well, they're not plants. They they come from plants. Um, oh, I can edit this out. Um, <laughs> to take us to a commercial for the VHS release of the Swamp Thing cartoon. Wait, did you did you show us anything? Did you? Yeah, my anything? mug's my mug's not that fun. It's my childhood mug, George. Aww. What are you talking about? With a capital G. <laughs> that is fantastic. Wow. It's precious. Dude, Wait, it's a childhood mug? Did you drink coffee as a child? <laughs> no, everybody in the family had their version of these. Uh, mine was at, was always filled with root beer. That's a fun family thing. Yeah. I yeah. like that. Yep. Perfect mug. Okay. Add a couple of butt cheeks to it, and that is uh, <laughs> that's a keeper. But, of course, mugs are just like plants in, huh? in as much as they can act as segues. Um. <laughs> So let's watch a commercial for the VHS release of the Swamp Thing cartoon. Swamp Thing, guardian of the earth. It all began as Dr. Alan Holland was working in his lab when evil Dr. Arcane attacked him. The lab exploded. Holland escaped only to be transformed into Swamp Thing. Brace yourself for battle as Swamp Thing unleashes his might to combat evil Arcane and his monstrous awesome. unmen. Who has the power, the strength to save the world? Swamp Thing, guardian of the earth. Don't miss the exciting adventures of Swamp Thing now on video cassette in toy stores everywhere. The best thing is the VHS tape that they show at the end, I think. Um, but With his I, arms kind of like Plastic Man or something. It's kind of yeah. like wiggly. I, I like that animation a lot. Is that the animation we're going to see today? It sure is. Oh, I like um, that. Okay. Laura, what's your history with Swamp Thing? I really don't have much history with Swamp Thing. I yeah, I I just remember seeing the movies, the live action ones on. Uh, George, I assume you're going to get into all this, right? Yeah. Yep. All right. Go uh, ahead. First off, Swamp Monster stories have been traced to the story It from the August 1940 issue of Unknown Magazine by sci-fi writer Theodore Sturgeon. This was the a giant swamp monster that was sentient and silent and powerful. And these traits were kept by all the characters it inspired. The first one in comic books was in 1942, uh, The Heap. And as we mentioned in our Tales from the Crypt episode last year, horror comics were effectively banned in 1955. Um, but by the early 70s, regulations had slackened enough that horror was back and Swamp Thing appeared in an issue of House of Secrets. Now, coincidentally, around the same time, Marvel debuted a similar character, Man Thing. Um, now, that's oh. not all that weird because, uh, for example, Marvel had introduced the Vision around the same time that DC debuted Red Tornado. Um, and then earlier, the X-Men came out around the same time as the Doom Patrol. Both were mutant misfit teams led by a wheelchair-bound genius. Were, were they always copying each other? Is that uh, the thing? They were, they were just – they were the main two by the 60s. So, um, so they were just um, – And who copied who? Or did it switch back and oh, forth? Oh, the message boards are all over the map about this. Oh, okay. It's just, you know, accidents in a very busy place, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Anyhow, the character was a tortured and soulful entity that emerged uh, after a scientist was hideously injured in an explosion. He fell in a swamp and merged with plant life. 
he became a cult favorite enough so that Swamp Thing was adapted into a movie in 1982, the sequel in 1989, a TV show in 1990, and then another one recently in 2019. Um, and then, of course, what we're going to watch today is Swamp Thing as this eco-warrior. But in all of these adaptations, he does talk. In the, in the comic book, not so much. Um, so can I ask a question? Yeah. Okay, so he, you say he's an ecological warrior. Is he like, who's he battling? Is he like saving people or is he like uh, saving the earth? Uh, a little bit of both. Depends on the episode. Okay. Um, but I just want to share the merchandise the for this is a little bonkers that you've got the action figure line that uh, was uh, a tie-in to the cartoon. You've got the board game, um, the pencil sharpener, uh, the video game. There were several video games, the, the Ben Cooper costume, and of course, wow. the bop bag. The Swamp Thing had five episodes. It was produced by Deke and it aired on Fox. Our good friends at Deke, they, yeah. they never give us copyright right takedowns, so we'll always love them here. On we Saturday love morning. our friends at Deke. I, you know, I remember watching Swamp Thing on HBO. It was one of those every day on HBO shows. Yeah, yep. um, yeah, probably like around like 84, 85. I was probably like eight or nine years old. And you turn it on, on like, you know, 10 a.m. on a Tuesday, you're home from school, and Swamp Thing would be on. I'd always watch it. And I remember there was nudity in it. Adrian Barbeau. I remember. Yep, exactly. Yeah. That's I remember not a thing the nudity. A kid forgets. Nope. <laughs> and that was the day I became a man. So yeah. Uh, yeah. I remember the environmental message. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> <laughs> Says the guy who interrupted for the, uh, for the mu nudity mug. <laughs> My sexuality is complicated. What can I say? <laughs> All right. So let's watch part one of episode one of Swamp Thing and just hot out of the gate. It's a theme song you won't believe. Right. Yes. Wild thing, it's gotta be Swamp Thing, right? Swamp Thing. Uh, you are amazing. You, you are, are amazing. amazing. <laughs> <laughs> It's my new favorite cartoon already, I'm saying it. <laughs> you are amazing! <laughs> Yes. It is amazing. <laughs> wow. Wait, 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 George, can you pause? Sure. How, how many seasons, how many episodes did you say all that stuff? Maybe just, I wasn't listening. Just five episodes. Well, five. Just five it. episodes. Five okay. episodes. Straight, straight to video or was it on no, it, Saturday it aired. morning? It, it, okay. I don't know. Um, it said it, it debuted, I think, on like Halloween of, of 91. I think. On Saturday so that mornings? Been, or? I looked it up. It was the 30th or 31st, and I think it was like a, uh, a Tuesday, but if <laughs> online it says that it aired on Fox from like October to May. I don't know how you have five episodes from October to May. I'm get. I don't know whether they did the same five five days in a row for like you know. They seven, stretched oh, the episode in the same way Swamp Thing stretched his fingers. And, right. And All right. That's arms, the only explanation. Yeah, yeah. And here he's battling the Unmen created by the evil Arcane. All right, let's see what McCorkle and Schooly have in store for us. <laughs> Classic McCorkle and Schooly plot. I want a shirt that just says McCorkle and Schooly. That should be a bar. My favorite vaudeville act, McCorkle and Schooly. Or, or, or what about those shirts that say McCorkle and Schooly and yeah, yeah. you know how they have the... And Nick and Swamp Thing. And, and Swamp Thing, yeah. Yeah. Right. Guys, I'm, I'm a little scared right now. What's his origin story? Do you know? Yeah. Uh, it was in the first commercial. Get ready with that oh. I wasn't listening. All is ready. Now. He's got a top hat. <laughs> Blast it with defoliant. I 
Thanks, Trick Doctor Demo. But I know a George, can it turn one. up anymore or no? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I can barely hear this one thing. Oh, he's doing the Bugs Bunny uh, going to Albuquerque. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, where he comes up. <laughs> yeah. Freak. Yes! <laughs> you are amazing! Swamp <laughs> thing! Am I making it up or did Sam Kennison do a version? He sure did. Okay. With a Jessica Hahn in the video. Skin man to Does he not have genitals? Uh in the cartoon for the comic. Well, maybe he reproduces asexually, I bet he does. I know the feeling. <laughs> what a steering wheel is. That ghoul knows what steering wheels. You can just see McCorkle and Schooly at the typewriter. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Open on a fan boat in a swamp. <laughs> More than this gang of goons to capture me. He angr angrily throws the steering wheel. <laughs> oh, I like it, McCorkle. I like it. <laughs> Is it too on the nose? Says Scooey. <laughs> there was fight, all right. Must have been. Did first anyone class see what bomb. just happened to that turtle? Uh, I think it was driven by, not over. Uh, back or, it up, though. Let's go. I don't think it turned it into a little ghost, unless I. I don't mean to derail. The no, 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 no. Okay. That's, That's what, what the show for. Derailing is what the show's all about. <laughs> okay, then. Never let's hesitate to derail. Take this off the tracks, because I saw. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. this is as fast as I can go without going right to the beginning, as we've seen in several episodes. Oh, yeah, what the hell is that? Oh, I think he's oh, just covered in the in muck. The, in the muck. Oh, right in the water. In the swamp, swamp thing, the swamp thing ejaculate. Right. It, it made it look way more important than what it turned out being, but yeah, I just, yeah. <laughs> but I like the two little eyes sticking out of the. I like the swamp. attention to detail. There was yeah. fight, yes. all right. Must have been first class bog brawl. Some oh, creatures never. It made the Native American uh, a tracker. Yes. Another run in with Arcane's thugs? Arcane won't rest until I'm his prisoner. <laughs> who did the voice? Do you know who did the you voice, George? Uh, we know the score. I'll look it up. I hope it was McCorkle. <laughs> <laughs> I got this one, guys. <laughs> we just can't find the right voice. You got trouble. It's the game warden. What are you two up to now? We're just catching frogs, Tomahawk. Uh, JT, well, uh, uh, what my man down with me to say is we're just, uh, relocating the local wildlife. Colossal vehicle. The Bog Rover? It was built by a friend of mine. Someone who knows this by friend of mine. even better than I do. Nobody knows this place as good as you, Tomahawk. As well as you. You'd be surprised, boys. This swamp has its secrets. Just steer clear of Dr. Arcane's plantation. Strange things go on there. Swamp thing. I... Hey, uh, just you to interrupt. You are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, okay, so the voice of Swamp Thing is Len Carlson. This guy, we're in good hands here with Len Carlson. <laughs> we, we're going to we're going to be okay. He was in uh, cops. He was a, he's a pr uh, former professional athlete. Um, so can did. we add McCorkle and Schooley and Carlson to the t-shirt? <laughs> yeah. McCorkle and Schooley and Carlson. By the way, I, I saw on here, uh, Schooley and McCorkle, bulk of the series. They did four out of the five episodes. <laughs> and then uh, some- They were disgusted some... and, <gasps> and for they left for the but, fifth one. But then for episode five, the Shelley boys came in. Bruce Shelley and Reed Shelley, the Shelley brothers. They're like the Cohen brothers, but of Swamp Thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, all right. That's Lots of nostalgic jokes in that episode. Yeah. The crusted mockery of a man. 
And again he has escaped your feeble attempts at capture. Swamp King is a fool to make any man cower. The Buck Beast Command is... What? Monster. What does he have the... Is he a voodoo guy, maybe? I guess. Oh, I must, yeah. I One more time. Greater power. This is your opportunity for vast reward and sweet revenge. Behold, Ben, the first step to a brand new you, the Transducer. <laughs> What's that torture chamber got to do with us? Sounds like a Ron Popeil. The Transducer. <laughs> yeah. Vanquish Swamp Thing. But the transducer will unleash your evil powers. You will but wait, there's come. more. <laughs> <laughs> so you kill Swamp Thing now. <laughs> this does not pass the Bechdel test. There hasn't been a single uh, woman or even uh, anything close so far. The frog was female. Uh, and, well. and the turtle. And I think Swamp Thing is actually asexual. I don't think he produces. I don't think he's. I don't think it's a he. Okay. He's a swamp. What is a swamp? <laughs> wow, another action figure. Next. <laughs> he's got an action figure no, machine no, <laughs> that he just hits a button. <laughs> it extrudes plastic. Yep. I do like these monsters a lot, actually. It looks like a like a high school kid. The guy with the him. gas mask, I can already yeah. see. Yeah. Hey, it's time to bamboose, JT. I'm hearing the call of a triple decker sandwich. That's not lunch calling. <laughs> That's the last catch of the day. See the jug head or the uh yeah. Kids in the nineties love like big sandwiches, like big hoagies. I would buy that actually. I saw a continuity error. What? The wings, do they attach at the, at the base of his waist or are they free flo floating? Depends. Weird music here. No, it's, you are amazing. You are amazing. Sounds like a Viagra commercial. The bluesy version. Yeah. Oh, you have a swamp thing lasting longer than 30 minutes. It's a dad band in a garage. story if you want to hear it. Uh, Should we make that as an EP mode? <laughs> it has an unhappy ending, so... Uh, oh, I don't uh, know. Not for Saturday morning. Whoa! Uh, These intruders have seen too much. Lock them in the attic. Forever. I mean, I think all these characters are cool, but it's like... It'll be a bat with a human body. It'll be a snake with a human body. It'll be a... Yeah. <laughs> <Wee -wee! laughs> that was how kids were thrown in, in the 90s. Yeah. Place is full of secret passageways. Thanks for letting us out, miss. But what are you doing here at Mutation Plantation? I live here, unfortunately. I'm Abby Arcane. 
Wait, this where where are they out there? Are they wait wait George hit pause? Yeah. Are, are they are they hunting frogs or are they uh they were hunting them for well, I I don't know what they were doing out there, but they were driving a vehicle that I think is available as a toy. And it looked a lot like a toy. I know, but I feel like they're destroying the environment more and they're like killing frogs to like No, that them. was an electric that was an electric uh vehicle. It was oh, okay. uh it was solar. Um but yeah, so they, she, she's just by herself in the plantation wearing a, a crop top and a little tied in yeah, shirt thing. Checks out. She, has to, she has to be on the set of gem in a few hours. So she has to, <laughs> oh, she has to make see. it stabby okay. here. Yeah. The yeah. flowers in her hair disappeared. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> trivia. IMDb trivia. Dip daddy? I'm afraid so. Oh, yeah. He's a demented genius. Right under this mansion, he has a secret lab for his gruesome experiments. Then why do you stay here? To help a special friend named Alec. My stepfather calls him Swamp Thing. You mean one of their <laughs> monsters? Monsters? He is amazing. Journals. He's a brilliant <laughs> According to my stepfather. Alec Holland. He trusted this notebook to me. Origin story. It tells the story oh. of his life's passion and his very own Lots words. of exposition here. You're losing me. A cure for world hunger. <laughs> Journal entry 322. I am close to unlocking the secrets of biogenetics. Of thinking out loud. Now you reconsider my generous offer to purchase your formula. My research is for the good of all mankind, Arcane. I will not have it corrupted by your mad obsessions. If you want to see mad, you stubborn fool, I'll show you mad. To Anton Arcane, the growth formula meant only one thing. The first step was his own was convinced that Arcane would stop at nothing to steal the secret of his research. We come back and the two boys oh. have left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Lord. They're out killing frogs. <laughs> no, they're capturing frogs so they can lick the back so they can get high. Oh, yeah. They're being with some buttons. <laughs> oh, my God. It's footage oh. from the intro. <laughs> he turned into a swamp thing. Oh, I got Dr. it. Dr. Alec. Wow, he is oh, amazing. Okay. Because of my stepfather's evil, Alec Holland was transformed. The mutant combination of man and plant. Called Swamp Thing. It's a cool origin story so I, did you ever read the alan moore run again. of swamp thing uh, I, in the 80s? some of it yeah it, it, i mean it's it's like a. it's, it's really like metaphysical of course i mean it's alan moore but it's yeah. really uh it's really cool i i really like his run of the yeah. comic yeah it's hard to it's hard to um uh it, to see how exactly it fits with this version of swamp thing uh, <laughs> or any know. of the toys um, then Swamp Thing was fighting that other monster to save us. He may be tall, green, and gruesome, but he's a good guy. All right. Do you, do you think, would you bet, if you had to wager right now that DC is going to come out with a new Swamp Thing in the next five years or so, would you wager that they will or that they won't? I think so. Well, I think so, too. They had one, the one that they had in 2019 was critically acclaimed, I think, and they didn't, I don't under. I think there was a question about why it wasn't renewed, um, because now oh, the special effects have caught up to it, to like what they were trying to do, um, and there's like an appetite for, uh, you know, darker series. And, and the climate thing, the whole climate aspect of the whole thing, I feel like that's. Uh, no, we know, figured that out them. since '91. That's not. Oh, we really did. That's right. Issue. That's right. Um, no, we figured it out. We're fine. Everything's gonna be okay. So what? What do you think so far? Cool animation. Cool character design. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, okay. I'm for it. Uh, yeah, it kind of it kind of has a little bit of everything aside from the female factor, except for <laughs> the girl who just came up to the attic. Um. <laughs> right, right, finally. But right. I mean, she looks like she would run an incense shop in. <laughs> I don't 
<laughs> totally. Definitely when she yeah. had the flowers before they disappeared. Yeah. yeah. I agree with you. I like the animation. I like the the different lighting they were doing with the flashing. Uh, that was the colors of lighting. It was very kind of had like an EC Comics feel. Um, mm. But mm-hmm. yeah. it is not the worst cartoon that I have watched with you guys. <laughs> Wait, what would Happy that be? Day, oh, the Happy Days one. Oh, that we watched that with cool. you. Huh? Brutal. Brutal. Oh. What was what was the other one? We watched the Tales from the Crypt one too. Yeah. Um, which wasn't. T- but yeah, the Happy Days one was. It's rough. Oh. Yeah. Um, it's dumb. So, in honor of Lenora's Midnight Rental, let's watch some commercials for horror-based toys. Saturday morning cartoons will be right back. Now back to Saturday morning cartoons. Who dares race on my haunted highway? Two monster trucks. Prepare yourselves. My evil eye is out to destroy you. I remember this. Your blazing speed won't save you from my rolling eyeball. Take the lead what? on Suicide Squeeze. Bust him up on Dead Man's Curve. You must be what? This, uh, this is awesome. There's no way it was this cool. <laughs> you from Michael, Haunted Highway, Electric Racing, Battery Not Included. I've got my eye out for you. I want it. I want it badly. We gotta, we gotta track that down. One yep. Yeah. yeah. To I'm gonna be disappointed of, by it. Set of Midnight Randall. <laughs> Which links in the dark, complete with a howling skull. Yeah, I'm not in the slime stuff. Howling monster, howling, disgustingly funny from Joker. Chef Queasy coming through. <sighs> That's nasty. This is tasty. Mud and crud cakes baked them up fresh in my Queasy Bake Cookerator. Now you're the chef. Mix her up, pop it in the Cookerator. <laughs> Ta da! You can add mud, gravel, some worms. Good job. Did I mention? Turn your mouth green. <laughs> Queasy Bake looks gross, tastes great. Cooker Rater comes with two mixes, other mixes sold separately, light bulb not included, assembly required. I don't you remember know, that. Yeah, I don't oh, either. I have no, I don't no either. memory of that. Wow. That seems like something you would have had, Laura, if you knew about it at the time. Yeah, I I never had an Easy Bake Oven, and I never had Creepy Crawlers. I always wanted it, but... Um, Same here. This this uh, combines those two worlds <laughs> right there into one. Yeah, this is more gross than horror. They've got to be, it, it's got to be on eBay. Uh, I'll, I'll take a look. Uh, uh, content, carry on. They come out at night. They strike without warning. Oh, no! But now, it's your turn to get even. Grab his arms! I got mine! Electronic stretch screamers. They scream when you stretch them and come back for more. And when you squeeze their heads. Electronic stretch screamers, you can battle them all. I scream, you scream, we all scream for the Dr. Dreadful ice cream machine. What goes in disgusting comes out chillingly. Delicious. It's totally ice cream for the Dr. Dreadful ice cream machine. Well, I want that too. This is rude, Ralph. When I pull his eyeball, he can make four really gross noises. I brought him to school today. What? That was totally disgusting. Thanks. From Axlon, Rude Ralph. Yes. Turn to our Ralph's tales rude. of scary fun. After all, there's a little monster in everyone. At 11.30 p.m. on KUSI, <laughs> TV 51, Saturday. <laughs> now back to Saturday morning cartoons. <laughs> I want right. everything in, the, in that <laughs> commercial break. So. Uh, yeah, we need to get all of that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Each of it, us it, needs to designate one of those items uh, to acquire, and then we'll have a Saturday morning uh, buffet. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I found the Queasy Bake, sixty-eight dollars <laughs> down from a hundred bucks. Uh, not bad. That's not bad. Package. Yeah. But but does it come with old food though? That's my that's my question. Is that it's, gonna? Yeah, I'm sure it has those little packets of cake mix that. Yeah. yeah maybe they don't go bad. Yeah. Dibs on the racetrack. Yeah. Oh, that racetrack was awesome. Yeah. I'll get the ice cream maker then. Okay, <laughs> okay deal. We all got something. <laughs> all right. Well, let's get back to the uh, epic conclusion of episode one of Swamp Thing. I mean, I can't imagine the ice cream was ever that good. <laughs> if like a kid's making it. It's probably just melted ice cream. Oh, I'm sure. Anything takes better out of a skull, though. 
<laughs> if those boys are in danger, that mountain of mulch will rush to their rescue. It's the perfect trap, and I already have the bait. <laughs> that was an actual mwahaha there. Just like Schooley wrote it. <laughs> MWA. Exactly. Estate, those boys must not get away. The snake guy does not look cool because he's like a human. Go in, back. You like go back. you were saying, it's. I think we'll see him again. Well, okay. I I just feel like everything is like, oh, it's a scorpion with a, a human body. Oh, it's well, they, a... you know they just made them from like He-Man figures that they ripped the heads off of. So they, you know, right. that's why they have human bodies. Like, what are you going to make in the... <laughs> Right, exactly. Yeah. The thing's got to stand up and. Uh... I yeah. like watching this in slow motion in reverse <laughs> a lot. Do you, you know, know you can J hit J twice? George, you know about the J it. JKL? Do you know about JKL? Um, I'm about to. Well, no. Okay. So is he wearing a bow tie? No, no, no. He's just he has like <laughs> a vest though. Oh, is he's he a the forty top pack hat guy? Is he the top hat guy though? Transformed? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Because mm -hmm. he has his vest on. <laughs> yeah, but but no top hat. He's, he's wearing a vest. He needs the he's hat more than ever now. <laughs> they have to get new clothes every time they go back to being in their human form. So what is JKL? Just kidding, laundry? What? Oh, no, on, on the keyboard. So, George, let's do this right now. Let's All do right. this on the show. <laughs> I think this is a good use of uh, our viewers' time. Um, so K will stop it. Uh -huh. J will go in reverse in real time. Uh huh. And then yeah. and then L will go forward. This is all like... If you hit it twice, it? it'll go and twice hit. as fast. Yep. And then if okay. you hit K, it'll stop it. Okay. All so, without having to use a mouse. Huh. It, and it took us three years to teach you that. <laughs> <laughs> We're all learning together. Right. Wait, can you turn it up a little bit? It seems quiet. I don't like that voice actor. That's one weird window washer. Uh, that was a little... Uh, that shot of the... Hose spraying them. Yeah. I, mean, I don't want to tell you how to do your thumbnails, George, but. <laughs> Was that a lattice related death right there? <laughs> uh, or injury. I'm sure yeah. he's back. Uh oh. Showtime synergy. I'm sure this vehicle was planned to be a... <laughs> that's the only expression that Snake has. <laughs> it's good it doesn't have a roof, or that would have been uncomfortable. Look at his ass. Look at his ass. Hello. Wait, wait, back it up. JKL it. JKL it. It's literally swamp ass. <laughs> it's literally my mug. <laughs> it, it is. is your mug. Let's do the side by side. Put the, put the mug up. Yeah, yeah. Yep. that's yeah. it. That's it. Swamp Hit Thing green. got back. Wow. <laughs> you know what? Turning into the Swamp Thing was the best thing to ever happen to that scientist. Like, <laughs> look at his that. ass, at least. Yeah. Ass-wise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at that. Um, yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, that, that part's less plant than all man. <laughs> <laughs> He's got junk in that swamp. <laughs> Thanks, man. If our game wants Thanks, to man. Swamp. <laughs> Mm. Oh. It's a lot of squirting I things. The, I bet the toy would have squirted. My shooting jack. Oh, definitely. Let's just hope it doesn't become necessary. Alec! Alec! It's Something always wanted peace, right? Yeah. He, didn't, he, was, uh, he was like a violent averse. A reluctant warrior. Mm -hmm. Arcane has gone too far. Abby and I'll take the marsh buggy over to find Tomahawk. We can use all that. The marsh buggy can. retails for 1995. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> he has a resting glee face. Uh, <laughs> <he does. laughs> Come on, Delbert. You can do it. Delbert. No. Dr. Arcane no. just wanted Jeez. to show you a little southern hospitality. Why don't you pick on a life form your own size? That's just what we had in mind, green guts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got to do a montage thing. of so villain insults. <laughs> My Good idea. and I have planned a little experiment. You see, 
I've taken my show on the road. This torpedo will release my mutation serum. <sighs> you don't have to explain boys it. Boys will just, be just boys. do it. But not for much Tell that to every Soon Bond villain. Will be on boys. <laughs> I was gonna castrate them. Unless I, I, I think that was the implication. Yeah. Oh, you are a genius. We're too late. Arcane found his one weakness. Underneath all that muck, he's still a man. You will, Arcane. I'm glad we can all be special this together. <laughs> there will be other opportunities to test my mutation torpedo. Say goodbye to Swamp Thing, boys. He's donating himself to science. <laughs> Goodbye, Swamp Thing. <laughs> er, oh, I guess he was being sarcastic. Today, the first day of the rest of my immortal life. You still don't understand the growth formula, do you, Arcane? What's so but did he turn? Did he turn into a liquid before and get an escape? Yeah. Did forget how to do that. You will learn. Or sprain. <laughs> it's all about sprain. <laughs> so many levers. Your life began with chemistry, and so it shall end. <laughs> no telling what that crazy doctor's got in there. We know what Swamp Thing's got out here. Friends. I feel like he looks exactly like the G.I. Joe Native American. I know you know your ass, but our spirit is a dangerous man. Dangerous? Right down to the red tomahawk. Yeah. Maybe we should just plan before the fighting starts. But, but JT, he saved our lives. You sure this is the way in? Abby said that Arkin's lab is under the house. There's the lab. No, I can hear the Jacob's so ladder from out here. <laughs> We're not too late, are we? No way. Let's get this door jumping. Uh -oh. Frog. It's Chekhov's frog. Oh, coolie. <laughs> Set up a swamp frog in Act One. It's gonna go off in Act Three. Cooley and McQuark will strike again. But why are they catching frogs in the Act One? Ah, we don't have to think about that. They just have one. I forgot to say when we saw Swamp Thing's ass. Swamp Thang. All right, I'm done. Sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Back to the cartoon. You can edit that in later, George. Mm. You could have just hit Jay a bunch of times to go back. But <laughs> yeah. It's, it's day one. It's day one. I don't know how you boys got in here, but I'm going to get you out. <laughs> what is that crossbow? <laughs> My shoots formula. A giant arrow. Why didn't you do come that on, Come on, Swamp Thing, you're amazing. Come on in. He is come ripped. He, I want the theme song to come back. Swamp Thing, are you okay? Ooh. Look at his ass. Look at that ass. Way back it up. <laughs> J, J, J it back. Hit, hit, hit a J. Hit, give me a J action. No, don't do that. Do the do I did. thing. Okay. I did. Okay, there. Okay. Can that be? Maybe that could be your screen grab right there. My That's cat's your... not into it. <laughs> what do you have for me? Is there anything in that butt mug? Yeah. Is there any tuna in there? Tina. <laughs> um, all right. Okay? She's like Nick with the butt mug. Yeah. 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 After you, fellas, the back door is straight ahead. Fellas. So he can't use definite articles, but he knows the word fellas. <laughs> Made in the shade. Right, Swampy? Dead. Make it. This kind of feels like all five episodes. Yeah. We got this is a long one. <laughs> Fast. Come on. We need to get him into the fountain. Oh. We lost his genitals. His genitals are back there somewhere. 
He never had him. <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> if I know Swampy. Thanks, guys. <laughs> well, he has a butt. Why doesn't he have genitals? Rules, murky. I don't think we've ever seen a trap door in a, in a swamp before. It's the first in a on Saturday morning cartoon. Oh yeah, make a wish. Everybody make a wish. That's like seeing a shooting star. Boring. It seems like they should use different sound effects than the usual boing. I agree, it seems incongruous to the yeah. tone of the cartoon. You know, the other animation thing is, you know, the fewer lines you can draw, the better it is on animators, but look how many lines there are on Swamp oh, Thing alone. That's why they only did five episodes. That's probably it. <laughs> but that's what I think gives it that EC look, like you were saying, Laura. It's, it's got that kind of detail to it. Was he under there the whole time? No, he was in the uh, oh, the vehicle. They're, well, they're gonna so squirt each other. Twenty-four ninety-five. <laughs> I'm gonna outsquirt you. <laughs> oh, he did. He outsquirted him. Yep. Now let's see if I can give my buddies a hand. Good old-fashioned squirt off. <laughs> Now, let's see if I can give my buddies a hand. Why did he say that? <laughs> oh, that swamp thing would have uh, I'll fired. squirt something at it. Squirt thing. <laughs> oh, we got the bluesy guitar back. Oh. Wait, what? He's squirting him with his... He was squirting his crotch, wasn't he? Yeah. You can't mutate a mutant. Mutate a mutant. That's yeah. a good quote right there. Yeah. What were you going to say, what, 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 did he, what did he say? I missed the, the quote. What was the quote? You can't mutate you can't. a mutant. Yeah. Oh, yeah. George, you have so many screen uh, thumbnails to choose from in this episode. I don't envy you at all. You have so many big decisions to make for this episode i i can't wait to see yes exactly mm -hmm. yep. oh that is guys. erotic yeah I'm i not, mean look at i'm not look at the I'm smile look at the, <laughs> look at the glee on their face <laughs> that's it that's the one right there right that's it <laughs> and then all of us equally gleefully yeah, yeah yeah ah yes perfect <laughs> okay all right carry on jk all that you come and swap me you come and swap it. Unfinished business with these unfinished. Who was who did the voice for that kid? That kid sucks. This bar battle is over. Now. One day that formula will be mine! Ooh. Home at last. But not to rest. Journal See, this looks awesome. Nope, colors. nope. His Today, butt crack went away. I Wait! <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Continuity flaw. Crack-annuity flaw. <laughs> their fear into friendship. But my greatest Ooh. battle still lies ahead. Ooh. I must find a cure to my own growth formula. <laughs> See, think and I must, I must <laughs> never <laughs> stop thinking out loud. I have to Save crack that. the case. <laughs> <laughs> now let me find that crack. <laughs> Tune in next week on Swamp Thing with the case of the missing butt crack. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, right. uh, uh, wait, wait. There it is, that's part. Yes. Fantastic. All right, that was uh that was something. Um
I loved every single second of that one. It that might be the best great. one. That's the best one uh, so far, I would say, of of this particular season. Yeah, yeah. It, w- it was. Uh, it it o- it lends itself to a very 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 brief game. Things. It's a very simple game. <laughs> I'll give you a clue, and you just have to tell me the movie title that includes thing. Just yell it out. Okay. All right. Okay. Yep. So I'll give you a description. Number one, Spike Lee delivers pizza. Do the right thing. Oh, that's right. Good one. Uh, number two, Tom Hanks manages abandon the sixties. That thing you do. Thing you do. Oh. Okay. Number three, John Cusack holds up a boombox. Say anything. All right. Yes. Wow. Nev Campbell and De- Denise Richards in a pool. Wild thing. Oh. Nice. Oh. Right. Your, your love of uh, <laughs> sleazy yeah. uh, erotic thrillers came saved you on that one. A TNA. Baby. I've never I've never seen this movie. Is that movie worth seeing? Oh, you've never. Oh yeah, it's great. yeah. Oh yeah. It's right. It's oh, yeah. Number five, Satan sells antiques in this Stephen King adaptation. Oh, needful things. Needful. That's right. And the final one, Terry Gilliam adapts Hunter S. Thompson. Wait, wait. Terry Gilliam adapts I, Hunter. Oh. Fear and uh, loathing in Las Vegas? Oh. <laughs> that is correct that is a <laughs> short answer that's yes. what we call a reach but i like that <laughs> I love it's a it. swamp thing reach yep. yes that's wow. how we play things <laughs> nice. i like the game Good simple game. but that's exactly what we needed uh-huh all right what well, did you guys I'm learn gonna, anything i'm pretty sure i won just <laughs> i'm pretty sure i won so. i learned you lost uh, because you haven't seen wild things so you haven't right. won until you I, actually yeah i think i actually lost because of that yeah tonight yeah. tonight i'm gonna go remedy yeah, that immediately yeah. i just i mean i learned a lot more about butts than i thought i would but that's about it for me that's my takeaway it's a butt heavy episode mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah i know how to George, pick them. What, did, what did you learn <laughs> well i definitely learned something today Swamp Thing is the personification of humans' fascination with and repulsion of the mystery and danger of the liminal space between the aquatic and terrestrial morass that teems with life, the swamp. Swamp Thing, the brooding loner of the comic books, asks us to reconsider our understanding of life and reality through many questions. What is sentience? Do plants feel? And could a vegan eat the Swamp Thing? His is a story we can all relate to being scalded by incendiary chemicals, falling into a swamp and becoming a massive shrub for justice. So the next time you see something you don't understand, don't be so quick to dismiss it as a mere thing. It could just be a living, thinking, merchandising opportunity. And that's why I always say, the more you battle is twice the knowing. I like your use of the word shrub. (laughs) I was hoping we'd get a shrub in this episode and we did. There's only so many synonyms available. <laughs> Nick, as a vegan, would you eat a swamp thing? You probably would, wouldn't you? Uh, well, does he have a nervous system? That's a big one. Um, well, like oysters don't, and you could eat an oyster. No, they're not vegan because they're an animal. But No, but um, they don't have a nervous system. No, they're a bivalve, which is an animal. But, uh, <laughs> but you were asking about the uh, nervous system, though. Well, that was part of the equation, but not all the equation. So I would say no, because he can talk. I wouldn't. I would not eat a swamp thing. What if great he question? Died of, if he... <laughs> great question, Nick. I have about fifteen more questions. Good to use ask of Laura's, Good use of Laura's time. Uh, uh, well, I I learned you can't mutate a mutant. That oh. is the that's that's the main the real takeaway. Take yes. And it really just is. as a quick as there's a butt crack, it can just as quick go away. Mm. The Lord giveth Oof. and the Lord taketh. You away. know what? Let's all appreciate our butt cracks tonight. Let's do it. Let's just like look in the mirror, look at your butt crack, and be like, "Thank you." Just kind of look back and be like, "Butt crack, you are amazing." <laughs> <laughs> that affirmation. That's what everybody will do tonight. <laughs> I'll call you later to talk about uh, the the vegan thing. We'll do, we'll do that yeah. privately. We'll During just do one on one. Our nightly uh, phone conversations. We'll talk that over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, Karen. Thanks what we for say? coming on. Uh, we're loving Midnight Rental. We're excited about the next one. Can you give us a preview? Maybe a tease, an exclusive tease of what that might be. Well, um, if you have not watched the first episode yet, 
let me entice you with, I'm wearing something that pertains to it. The first episode deals with Stephen King, and I have a pair of Stephen King shorts on. Whoa! <laughs> they what? Made them. Shorts? Yes. I got them at a uh, horror convention a couple years ago. And <laughs> if you can put a logo on it, they'll do it at a horror convention. So they had Stephen <laughs> King shorts. So if you have not caught the first episode of our Midnight Rental pilot, it is a deep dive into Stephen King movies. The second episode will likely contain uh, a deep dive into horror sequels set in space. So very, very specific, but um, mm -hmm. I might uh, get a chance to talk about my love of Jason X. So watch out. All right. <laughs> yes. I wait. love specific. I love unusually specific. Huge fan of that. So and, can't wait for more of that. Leprechaun went to space too, didn't Leprechaun at one point? <laughs> yes, Leprechaun. Okay. Leprechaun 4 went to space. Uh, Hellraiser <laughs> Bloodline went to space. And I believe oh. also Critters. Now, Critters 4, Leprechaun 4, and Hellraiser Bloodline are all the fourth sequel. Mm. Oh, and I guess that's where they run out of run out of ideas, but I'm doing it in episode two. So, uh, mm. oh, you? <laughs> <laughs> she's out of ideas, but I love it. I can't wait to see what more you got. Yes. Two episodes, baby. That's all I yes. got to Yes. <laughs> all right. I'm excited. Oh, wait, uh, wait, real quick, though. I do oh, want yeah, to yeah. say uh, this was the cereal I had got, and it's uh, Cinegram Cinnamon Toast Crunch. This How is it? Um, I opened it, but I didn't try it. I was like, I'll save it. All right. Let's get it. Yeah. So. Okay. Okay. Would you eat an ass mug full of it? <laughs> I would eat. I would eat a butt mug full of cinnamon graham toast crunch. Um, no higher okay. praise. Same oh. texture as cinnamon toast crunch, but it, it, with it's missing the pleasant ridged texture of uh, graham whatever the original yeah well i think generally i think that the people at general mills are going to love to hear that yeah. you would eat it out of a butt mug would eat a butt so mug full of it yeah put they're, that like, the box. they're like they're like chuching here it comes um all right george thanks for bringing us swamp thing and a happy Saturday to one and all happy, happy Saturday. I wish I'd said that differently. In fact, I'm going to say it differently right now. <laughs> <laughs>